Hi everyone and welcome to Wednesday's story time. So we're still on The World's Worst Children 2 by David Walliams and it's part 3 of Comfort the Hungry Baby. So here goes. Nino, Nino, Nino. The ambulance screeched to a halt outside what was left of the family home. As soon as it stopped, Humbert lumbered over it. He began to pick up the ambulance with ease. Ah! Screamed the ambulance driver as he leapt out the door, landed on the ground with a thud. Oof! He looked up in horror as a giant baby crushed the ambulance with his bare hand. Crunch! Wah! Humbert was hungry again. He took an enormous, a humongous bite out of the ambulance. Brrr, and then another. Brrr, until he swallowed it down. Gulp. Brrr. Father was still hiding beneath the bush, but decided it would be safe to make a run for it. He raced down the street, but the giant baby thundered after him. Boom, boom, boom. Each step was like an earthquake. Humbert grabbed the passing poodle and ate that. Brrr. The li a little old lady was walking the poodle, didn't let go of the lead, so she was gobbled up too. There, father ran and ran. Still, the giant baby chased him. A tree was upended and munched into pulp. Burp. Then a double-decker bus was go gobbled up. Burp, burp. Next, a squad of police cars raced down the road. They stopped in formation to create a roadblock. One by one, the cars were tossed up into the air and caught in the baby's mouth like peanuts. Burp. Humbert grew bigger and bigger and bigger the more he ate. He was now the size of a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Father ran down the bridge to the city. There he hoped the baby could catch him. However, the city just meant more things for Humbert to eat. Streetlights, statues, cars, lorries, even a fire engine was gobbled up. Burp. Up ahead, Father spotted a very tall building. It must have been a thousand floors high. Right at the top, he was sure to be out of reach of his ravenous, hungry baby son. There was a glass lift at the side of the building. Father frantically pressed the button for floor 1000 and began travelling up at speed. In the safety of the lift, the man breathed a sigh of relief. Bing! The lift jolted as if it reached the very top of the building. The door slid open and Father rushed onto the roof. When he looked down, he saw that the giant baby was scaling the building. No! screamed the father. Whirr! The man turned around. A police helicopter was buzzing overhead, the pilot leaning out with a, a, a loud hailer. Giant baby thing! Please make your way down the street level and stop eating everything. Humbert reached out to grab the helicopter. He swatted at it like a fly as it began falling to the ground. The giant baby grabbed the helicopter and he ate it. There he is there. <laughs> it's like the King Kong of babies, isn't it? In no time, Humbert had climbed to the top of the building. Father was trapped. The baby's ginormous hand reached onto the roof and scooped at the mat. Don't eat me, he pleaded. I'm your father. But the baby just smiled, bared his gums. Ah, screamed the man as he disappeared into the baby's mouth. Then the baby spat him out. Eww, yuck, the mustard, exclaimed father, scrambling to his feet um, on the roof of the building, slipping over the slippy, uh, spicy sauce that saved his life. Just then, three fighter jets whizzed past. Don't shoot, don't shoot, shouted father. All we need to do is cut every man, woman and child in the world with mustard and we'll be all fine. The baby reached out and grabbed one of the fire jets. He munched it down, burp, and then another, burp. The pilot of the third jet start, uh, started to fly off at speed. Humbert reached out to grab it, and as he did, he lost his balance. No! screamed the father as the big baby tumbled to the ground. Wah! Humbert, the hungry baby, was no more. So what was the moral of this story? It's very simple. However hungry you are, Never try to eat three fighter jets in one city. Two is more than enough. And there he is. I don't quite know how far down he's gone after he's fallen, but he's clearly gone. That's it for today. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.